Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to grant uh, drop create uh, table permission to a user in our MariaDB. So let's uh, connect to our uh, MariaDB and then uh, we experiment there. So I'm going to say mysql u root user dash p and then provide the password. So we will connect uh, to MariaDB by using our root user. Show databases. So first of all, I would like to see the databases. I have one database called Tech Brothers. I would like to, to show you tables there. So here we have employee table and manager. What I would like to do, I would like to create a user called TB and provide him permission to create the, the table called the test. I would also like to give him permission to drop that table anytime. This can be very good scenario when we have data loaders and they need to load the data and the table definition often change. So they want to drop it and recreate with new definition. So we'll say create a user and it's a TB at the rate localhost and then uh, identified fired by a password of one two three all good now well, what we will do we'll provide grant drop and then uh, say create and then also i would uh, provide insert and select because we would like to insert a row and select the data from the table to make sure everything is working great for our testing and uh, and we'll say on tech brothers dot uh, test so that's our table name to tb at the rate localhost so in the single quotes okay all good the permissions are provided now i'm going to exit from here and come back with the, our user tb okay provide the password one two three and now we can say show databases we should see two databases one tech brothers another one this uh, this assistant database now use the tech brothers okay we are in the tech brothers and we can create a table and uh, i'm going to say test so we id integer we are not providing a lot of columns here just uh, for testing purpose so insert into test and values one this is all good here we can select the data and uh, now uh, from test see there is one record if uh, I would uh, try to create uh, any other table let's say I would like to create a test one so what will happen we do not have permission to create any other table but only test so now I can go ahead and uh, drop this table we have the permission to drop a table test okay okay good so now if we say show tables we should see only two tables uh, show tables okay what happened here show tables uh, we drop table test and in the tech brothers okay show table show tables that should show us uh, uh, more records here so I'm gonna oh okay because uh, uh, I was a uh, connected with the TB and TB did not had a permission uh, to see any other table it had only permission to drop create insert and select on only the test table that's why I was not able to see table manager and employee from tech Brothers database now if I will go ahead and connect to the uh, database again with my root user and uh, provide the password now I can say show use tech brothers and then show tables uh, and we can see the table employee and manager okay great so you you can uh, provide the permission such as uh, drop and create insert and select in advance so even the table is not there and uh, you you can uh, you know um, once uh, you want to uh, create them and uh, drop them is a good idea for the data loader uh, users uh, to have these permission in advance now the next part i would like to provide the permission on tech browsers to create uh, any tables uh, for the user tb so what we are going to do we are going to say grant drop insert sorry and drop create and uh, we are uh, let's uh, give insert and update uh, sorry select as well uh, so we can uh, see the uh, data if we would like to insert uh, okay so we provided a uh, drop permission and create permission uh, 
with the, our insert and the selects for just testing purpose on so tech brothers dot asterisk so on everything to our user so tb and uh, at rate localhost if you remember that uh, when uh, we uh, try to create uh, table test last time we failed uh, from, uh, especially when we were logged in uh, with the user tb this time uh, as uh, we have uh, provided the permission uh, we should be all good use tech brothers and now show tables we should be able to see more tables here and uh, in the last scenario if you remember we had only permission to create drop select and insert for test table that's why we were not able to see these tables now if i would like to say create table test or any other one doesn't matter uh, it will let me create that table okay provide the data type fine table is created show tables and uh, if i would like to see the data from employee i should be able to see the data as well if i would like to drop the table again t e s t okay i have the permission to drop it so i can create and drop as many tables i want in tech brothers database now this is a uh, the very basic uh, uh, syntax you will be using uh, so you will say grant uh, drop create uh, and then uh, provide uh, the object or the uh, database dot asterisk uh, the list of the objects so it pretty much all the objects uh, whatever you want to have in the table or in the database uh, so multiple uh, um, multiple tables that you would like to create here so you that's this is what you will provide and then you will say to which user uh, so pretty good and I, I like that uh, creating or uh, uh, given the permission in advance uh, so it can be used for uh, uh, loaders uh, and uh, they can uh, uh, drop the tables they can uh, recreate it uh, and uh, they can have select and uh, uh, per insert permissions uh, so that helps uh, thanks very much for watching this video i have the scripts uh, written on my website i will put the link in the website uh, in the description so you can take from there thanks bye